One, two, one, two, three, bounce. Can I wrap my way to heaven? Tell me if I go to hell, could you minimize my sentence? Tell me what you reckon. Never been good. I leave praying to a What's up, guys, and welcome to Uncut. We are here in the heart of Birmingham, backstage of the Proclaim Gospel Concert. It's very exciting. It's all happening here, and I'm here with none other than Jay Vessel. Jay, tell well, us about go yourself. On. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing much. We're just here with you. We want to hear about you today. So tell me about yourself. For people who are viewing who maybe don't know who you are, we'll forgive them for that, by the way. But yeah. tell us about your music. What's your genre? How long have you been making music as well? Yeah, yeah. So I go by the name of Jay Vessel. Um, I'm a producer, songwriter, rapper from London, Northwest London. <clears throat> Been making music since I was about 15. Um, I think I uh, got the music bug from my dad, who's a DJ, a Christian DJ. Nice. Um, I wanted to be a footballer, like a lot of young uh, kids growing everyone up. Everyone wants to be a footballer. Uh, Even I wanted to be a footballer at one point. My knee didn't quite work out <laughs> and uh, <laughs> kind of went into music, um, yeah. stumbled into music and yeah, kind of been here ever since. Amazing. Wow. I like it. Interesting story, actually. So, pandemic. How was it for you in the pandemic? Tell me about that, because a lot of artists found it hard. I've been interviewing a few artists as part of On Affinity Extra, um, yeah. and I've always asked them, like, it's been during lockdown that I've been, like, interviewing them, and it's been oh, hard yeah. for well, them like, creatively. Zoom that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's nice to actually have you here in person, actually. Yeah. And we don't have to be two metres apart. <laughs> it's nice. But tell me, how was the pandemic for you musically and creatively? Was it hard? Yeah, I think um, the pandemic afforded myself and a lot of musicians kind of distance from um, shows. Because mm. um, I think a lot of times when you're making music, um, subconsciously or consciously, uh, you're making music with tomorrow night show in mind or yes. next week show in mind or mm. in the summer I'm going to Amsterdam and I got yeah. so I got to have musical um, mm. kind of content for that audience and as much mm. as we won't admit it I found that um, musically um, that was definitely impacting like yeah. a lot of my musical decisions in terms of I got to make sure that I have a sound for different people and different yeah. areas that I'm going to be booked or playing and stuff mm. and to be honest it is awkward when you don't have the tunes for like the audience man you're just like yeah. a festival and like you just got some proper like hard hitting yeah. beats that it's not connecting no. I mean I think what's most important for for an artist or a musician of any kind is kind of just to be authentic to themselves and not have yeah. to think about how's this going to connect, how's this yeah, going to yeah. resonate with my man who lives all across. Yeah. You just got to do what, what makes sense yeah, for you. Yeah. And I think um, the pandemic definitely gave me that opportunity just to think, do I even like this tune? Yeah. It gives <laughs> or, you the space to reflect, why am yeah. I making music? What music am I making? Exactly. Like, what like, do, and am also I making what do you, for? Yeah, mm. and what do you want to make? Because exactly. sometimes we think it's just about the people receiving it, but it's also about you giving it. Mm. Because actually the process for musicians from what I gather is like it's very it's a very intimate process for you, isn't it? Cut one second. Yo, oh cool, sorry, I'm just gonna put my food in here. Uh okay, I'm just gonna do you know Okay. We'll eat his food as punishment, no, I'm just kidding, we won't. <laughs> I told you about Indies. I know, you did say, we knew we were like, we we're going to have people just coming in. <laughs> yeah, literally. So how does it feel tonight being here and being able to perform after having that space where you've not been able to probably? Is this your first time performing again or you've been doing shows in the past year and so, yeah, right? Yeah, past year we've been nice. able to get out and about again, um, which has been which has been fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really looking forward to tonight. Um, been a minute since I've been in Birmingham, so yeah, yeah, linked up with a few people that I ain't seen for a while, nice. Roger being one of them. Like, oh, nice. So yeah, it's cool, man. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, amazing. Now, with all of that, did the pandemic birth anything for you? Like, did it make you feel like I've, I've made new stuff? Did it? How did it work with your innovation, with your music? Did it bring anything new to the surface that you hadn't with having that space and stuff? Yeah, I think so. I think um, uh, I think as, as well as kind of having the, the space to kind of think reflectively on what you're putting out, mm. um, you're also able to think kind of um, introspectively of, of who you are as an artist, what you kind of want to represent, yeah. um, who you want to work with 
for and with and uh, kind of the process of how you're re releasing music is that the best way to do mm, it um, yeah. do you need to expand your team do you need yeah. to you know and so I was able to think about that um, a little bit and was able to um, yeah do just that and kind of work mm. with distribution um, company and, and uh, on my release schedule and stuff like that. So that mm. was that was really helpful and I was able to release an EP 2021 last year wow. summer, um, which yeah went down really well and I was really. And proud last of summer, it. you told me was when you got married as well. Yeah, man, which got married nice. last last summer. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, amazing. Just after lockdown, so it was a big party. Ah, oh, that must have been such a nice celebration. Yeah, it was. And. Um, Pause one second. What was my name? Oh yeah. So, how has your faith fed into your journey with music? Does it inspire? How does how has God inspired you with all of that? Yes, yeah, so I think firstly, um, as my dad was a Christian DJ, like I just mm. grew up with gospel music around the house, mm. and not only uh, like American gospel with choirs, but a lot of UK gospel, UK, um, gospel rap, and stuff like that. So, when I first started making music. I think it was only like year nine that I started to listen to like mainstream, yeah. normal music. Right, yeah. Um, mm. I started to hear about Kanye West or yeah. Lil Wayne or whoever was popping them, Tiny Temper. Yeah. Um, but before that, that was, yeah, Christian music was all I knew. So when I first started to create my own music um, as a Christian and as that was the main sonic that I had kind of been exposed to, that was kind of the route that I mm. went down musically as well. Um, so yeah i think yeah growing up and um learning about kind of who you are and who you want to be as an artist like we've spoken about like yeah it has adapted and changed over yeah. time um and you find kind of what is more you're more comfortable in what kind of pockets and sonics you're more, more comfortable with and i think as time goes on yeah you just learn more and more about yourself and what you're best at so yeah yeah i love that there's a lot about that that actually kind of, yeah, that being on that journey and then, yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I but in terms of like my faith, like more specifically, yeah. I think, um, yeah, definitely it's, it informs who I am as a person. Mm. Um, and so when I when I create music, that, that person is just reflected on the track, you know, yeah. so I don't come in the studio and start talking about something that I'm not doing and yeah. living a life that I'm not living. It's just what happens is my faith informs my life, my personal life. And then when I come on a track, I just tell that story. So it comes from more of an authentic place, doesn't it? Of yeah. you knowing, listen, I'm created with a purpose and I get to breathe that out. Yeah. Like, that's amazing. Exactly. I love it. I love that. Now, for any young people listening into this, seeing your journey and think maybe they're thinking, I want to start in the music career or whatever, what would your advice be to that? Or what would your advice be to your younger self? I'm throwing a curveball there. I didn't prep you with this question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was just thinking because mm. I feel like before you think about if you're a young person um, who wants to get into music, I feel like you'd have to first think kind of yeah, learn more about yourself. Like, what am I here for? Like, what's my yeah. purpose? Like, you know, um, as a Christian, what, what has God called me to? Um, yeah. And even, yeah, that's like a very deep and introspective question, but also like, yeah, who is God? You know, yeah. like, who am I like um, heritage wise and, and, mm. and start to learn about who you are and, yeah. and kind of what you like to do and stuff like that. I was lucky because um, not only was my dad a Christian DJ, but I had the opportunity to um, visit a studio when I was about 12 years old mm. and um, was able to learn how to create a beat. Yeah. Um, and if not for that day, like I probably wouldn't have fallen in love with, with music wow. at, that, at, that po at that point, you know? So having mm. the opportunity to um, find your passion and then yeah. uh, express yourself through it is, is definitely something not to take for granted. That must be quite surreal to think back to that moment when you were younger and then thinking about your journey wanting to be a footballer. Yeah. I'm gonna start that line again. <laughs> that must be quite interesting. <laughs> They're so loud, are, we gonna pick, are they gonna pick that up? I'll leave it in there, man. Okay, they, they cool. Think Chris is here. So yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, ew! <laughs> no, that's cool. Um, so that's quite interesting what you just said and quite surreal for you thinking when you were younger having that opportunity to then going on your journey of wanting to be a footballer, right? And then... That's all right. <laughs> that must be quite interesting and quite surreal for you to speak of when you were younger, wanting to... Yeah, having that moment with music and then going on your journey where you're going into football, you get injured, your life doesn't go the way you think, and then you fall back to music again. 
Yeah. Is that quite weird to pin the two together? Like, would you ever thought when you were 12, having that moment, making a beat, that you'd be doing music? Did you ever think that? No, nah, not at all. And that's, that's what I'm saying, like, in terms wow. of, as a young person, sometimes there's yeah. a lot of pressure, especially with social media, there's a lot of pressure to, like, have your whole life mapped out. And if you make a decision at 15, oh, yeah, I want to be a musician, and you've got to stick to it for your whole yeah. life, and that's not the case, you know? No. You can just take your time, be easy on yourself, give yourself grace um, to yeah. kind of make these decisions, and sometimes let God and let life yeah. figure that out for yeah, you yeah, as well. 100%. So, yeah. Man, I love that. That got deep. I like that a lot. So, with your music coming out, well, your music's already out, but have you got anything new coming? Can you give us any exclusives? Yeah, yeah, I'm you dropping. Got new stuff coming? I'm just dropping, man. I'm just just going to be dropping this year. Oh, like, really? We've got to be checking your socials, yeah, then, I assume. Yeah, um, I hope to drop a project this year. Um, should have some really cool features on there. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to finishing that and getting that out. Amazing. Well, thank you for joining us today. It's been amazing Cheers, being man. able to hear some of your journey um, and interviewing as part of Uncut. So, thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll see you soon. To occasion, just like everyone does, I stop back friending DJs. Now, Oaks on the freeway. I'm changing my tune. I've got the power, like, yeah, yeah. They say life's a marathon. It's more like a relay. We pass on our blessings. Hands up. I heard you're looking for me. Yes, it's me. It's your boy, David. Um, really hope you like the content of the video. Um, be sure to make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned, go to affinityextra.com, check out the website, download the app, go on Instagram, make sure you follow, make sure you stay in tune to everything that's happening.